Hey YouTube land. Okay, this is a compilation video of some questions I am getting on TikTok and I just thought I would throw them all together in one video. Frequently asked questions on carnivore. Let's go. <laughs> yes, 100%. This is a common occurrence. Um, your body is adjusting to all the fat it's having. So here's a few things. Okay, if you're cooking ground beef like in a pot on the stove, I would probably stay away from all the grease that is left over. Once you're adapted and adjusted, like I 100% have that grease, um, but you don't want liquid rendered fat. So have it in solid form, like chunks of fat on steaks are great. Um, having a bite of a stick of butter like I do, or if you're doing dairy, have some cheese and sour cream. So just stay away from the liquid fat and soon you will adjust. I will say, probably don't fast, like don't do intermittent fasting. You don't want to have even more fat at one time. So spread your meals out, have three a day so you can give your digestive, digestive system a break. I will also add to do whatever you can to help out your stomach. So besides the spacing out the meals and you know not having a shit ton of fat at once, I would chew your food really, really well. So obviously your saliva is gonna break down your food. That is less work that your stomach acids have to do. I would also refrain from drinking a lot during your meals because that will also dilute the stomach acids. So have like your water before or after and just do everything you can to support that. So chew really good so your stomach has to do less work. Or having loose stools, <laughs> just know that it shouldn't be painful. You shouldn't be having like any cramping or pain. You should just be like, oh, I need to run to the bathroom and then it just comes right out. So let me also drive this home. Do not trust a fart, but I promise it will get better. <laughs> As soon as you adapt, it will get better. You won't have these issues the entire time you're on carnivore. I feel like anything that happens in the first few weeks um, is normal and the digestion stuff could go longer than a few weeks, but it shouldn't even be every day. I would just spread your meals out, <laughs> chew really good, and hope for the best. Make sure you're keeping up on your hydration, your electrolytes. Definitely make sure you're having some magnesium and salt and you know some people have low carb like the low carb flu and they just don't feel great in the first few days maybe a week so just give it time make sure you're eating enough get some rest when you can and i promise it will get better technically no because those are plants but i will say it depends on why you're doing carnivore if you have autoimmune issues i would highly recommend cutting everything out um, using this as an elimination diet before you do try to add things back in. That being said, you know, some people are just doing this for weight loss and they will tolerate garlic and, and, and onions just fine. So it really just depends on what your goals and your needs are. But it's also interesting that my taste buds have changed eating this way. Like I used to cook with all the things and grilled onions were my jam, garlic and everything. I once in a while will have like a bite of a grilled onion, like if my kid gets them on their um, Flying Dutchman from In-N-Out and I can appreciate that it tastes good, but it's like, I don't even really want it. Like I, I don't have that like need, it's interesting. So it's almost like if you've heard a smoker say once they quit smoking, like their taste buds just like come alive. So I feel like it's the same. And if you want to enjoy onions, go for it. But I find a lot of people that eat this way are just so satisfied having just salt on their meat. Yes, it changes it for the better. I will say when I first started, I think because I was coming off of a four month binge and then going to strict carnivore that things, you know, needed some time to adjust. So I was quite a few weeks late. Um, but ever since then, it's like exactly like to the day, perfect, like 27, 28 day cycles. I have zero cramps. Like I don't know it's even on its way. I only know because I track in an app and lots of people say the same thing. People come to this way of eating for PCOS and fertility issues. If you have any issues with your cycle, cramping, bloating, pain, migraines, 100% give this a chance. 